The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Was I not supposed way to way too it. This is way too noisy. He's oh, wait, is that me? Like... Oh, wrong button. Fuck! <laughs> That's a... Oh. <laughs> no! Fuck! It's all over. <laughs> Throw my life. Hit the wrong button. Everything's just flopping around like a big floppy, like a Ooh. big soft wow, a little soft dick. It's just flopping around like a little soft dick. It's just like a little around. soft. Like, right, you just yeah, walked yeah. out of cold water, <laughs> like you just walked out of the, like the coldest the water cold pool. You, you think of? Shrinkage. And there's a little, there's a little pee pee, kind of like a dude from The Hangover. That's kind of yeah. like what's flopping around. Like a little turtle. Is that a bad way to start the show? Sorry, I've had a lot of May 62, intentions of running sky high on the set of Love and Thunder. <laughs> no, we, we're going well, to write in. All right. Let's pick up the spirits with my energetic personality. You're going to fuck your coast, you coast you This is 10 years for me. I'd have la, loved la, 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 the copyright music. This is the copyright music. We're singing songs. Oh, la, 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 it's been 10 oh. years for me. They've made me a total joke. <laughs> I was really excited to wow, hear Baptist and Randy Thor uh, and get to share the mantle. Oh! 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 What? Oh, oh, what? Either Natalie Portman's got the biggest case of monkeypox I've ever seen, or they're tracking the guns. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, there you go. Vindicated. He worked out. So they got this fake plastic, like this fake foamy arm. Yep. And then they've got this thing around it with tracking on it so they can muscle it up. Dude, that thing is so tight on her arm. It looks like it's one of those things they want to take, like bl draw blood. No, it's not. It's not her arm. That's not her arm. Her arm is inside of it. That's a fake sleeve. No, I know. I'm saying it's so tight you can see it. It's like squeezing her. Her like you can see, like foam. Yeah, her. Dude, I don't think it's even touching her. I don't think it's even touching her fucking arm inside. You know. They just need. They need a point of reference for where the bulges are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, you saw that She's... interview with her. Oh, my. And, you know, she looks proper Hollywood anorexic at that point. So, I, you know, I'm just sick. I know we haven't even said hello yet, but I am just sick hello. and tired Ow. of the expectations no. put on men to look so good and the way that they're just horrendously objectified <laughs> in Hollywood when women don't have to be women anymore. <clears throat> I mean, when we have Hollywood stars dying at 60, like the WWF stars, then you'll probably know. They dropped it at 40. No, Did nobody have a problem 40, with yeah. her saying, like, I'm here to, like, share Thor's mental? Oh, yeah, she, go she goes into the um, 
the whole we're doing it together. I'm the oh, mighty yeah. Thor, and we're see, doing the men of the gala. Did you see the Geico commercial calling them Thors? No, Thors. I didn't. Oh, I don't watch yes, TV. They're, they're referred to as the, like it's like a guy living next door to to um fake female Thor. Well, she's a real female Thor, but she's a fake Thor. <laughs> And then the other Thor, and he refers to them as Thors. Oh. Thor persons. Geico commercials in the yeah. MCU, by the way. Great. My boner won't even thaw from this. Not mm. even a little bit? No. <laughs> Those who try the most fair. In, in all seriousness, all jokes aside, uh, Chris Hemsworth was posting pictures on set Pumping his guns, showing just exactly how fucking ripped he was. I mean, dude, just like it. taking it's pictures next to there. people with pumping the gun. And, and showing he, how much know. he missed leg day. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was funny. That's the hot that's the that's the that's the way of the poser anyway. You know, yep. you don't want to bother about leg day. Uh but uh yeah, I mean this is just no no it's just no effort. So this this will be well, I mean, we, we already guessed it already. This is padded suit. Uh, fake arms and CGI trackers for uh, for turning it into muscles. And I just think of every single tweet that was blasting all of <laughs> us, critical drinker, everybody who pointed this out that they're fake fucking arms. It was obvious that oh, they were fake. They're, no, they're not. You You're just hate women. You just hate women. You just hey, hating women has nothing to do with this. Okay, that's a I separate. Know. That's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, that's a separate vocation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it just shows the privilege of being female in Hollywood right now. They don't have to work out. You know, I'm sure Hemsworth is like, wait, what? I can do that too. <laughs> no, he can't. No, no. no he can't. there'll be, be, to be someone else to take his place. We couldn't ask forty year old natalie portman to go work out and prepare for her role no like all the dudes do gina carano does yeah gina carano would kick natalie portman's ass that's not fair that's a that's like that, a that's not even a contest though no that's like putting no. a willow tree against a twig that's just, <laughs> yeah oh, she would tattoo her name all over natalie portman uh, she'll make her her bitch. Why don't That's you right. just say that again? <laughs> like, you, didn't you hear in the style <laughs> in the UK? They Chris uh, no, David Tennant and people like that were involved in a a, a plea to uh, cast more women over forty five. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, I'm, there's okay. there's some hot women over 45. I'm all for it. Yeah, as long as they're you know, as long as they're hot. <laughs> well, I mean, I would say it. as long as the script, the script demanded it. I was I was gonna say, surely this is more of a shouldn't they be petitioning more writers need to write about 45 yeah. year old women? <laughs> like, and then the writers okay. be like, no, because that's not what sells and what people go to the cinema for. I mean, if the writers are like, I don't want to write about a 45 year old woman. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. There you go, I guess, yeah. I want to write about hot young people doing hot young people stuff that everyone watches because the, the, the kids that relate to it watch it and then the adults who wish they were it watch it. God, I wish I was that. Mm -hmm. wish my wife mm -hmm. was that. <laughs> Jennifer Connelly, yeah. I wish I was doing that to my wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Natalie yeah. Portman has always been a twig. Mm-hmm. She's always been a twig. That's why she had like the perfect body for a black swan because she had that ballerina body because yep. she was like super skinny. That was a that was her best uh, physical appearance in a movie. This, this so why even put the effort in? That's what I say. Well, uh, let's think about this just for a second. so Thor: Love and Thunder <clears throat> is coming out in August, mm -hmm. which right? is not like prime summer season. Uh, it's July. July, I it July is July 7th. Oh, am I wrong? I thought it's August, right? It's, I oh, thought right. it was August. Yeah. I thought it was July 7th. Mm -mm. Hold on. I have no 7th. fucking idea when this film's coming oh, out. Maybe it's coming out no July 8th. 8th. It's coming out July oh, 8th. Is. I thought oh, it was, yeah. is it? I thought it was August, right. too. There you go. Oh, I said corrected. I have so much to do. Slow down. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't watching it. You can fucking watch what? it. It's coming out and Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. Oof. Hi everyone, I'm Az yeah. from Heel vs. Babyface. Welcome to the Real BBC. Intro time. Hey. Gary, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. 
Glad to be back home. Uh, I had a really fun time in Dallas. You guys were all missed, and uh, I really like. People were asking about you. Tunnel, I wasn't. All the, I, okay, I said I was sorry. All right, <laughs> I said I was sorry. I had it on my notes to bring up everybody, and I fucking didn't get a chance because you know Ryan and Eric just don't stop talking. No, I'm just kidding. I love those guys. But, uh, uh, no, I, I'm sorry. I I own that one. But no, I, do you know the I, best I thing was much. I was watching the stream, and you're like, you know, you guys are on the stage. So there's Jeremy, Gary, uh, Quarter Black. Uh, and uh, and Ryan uh, and Eric Chill, I was obviously a guest, but you know, as, as the host, and then you go, hey, and let's not forget Comic Division, Odin, who were in the uh, the audience, and I was yeah. like, oh. and then uh, you just went, right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just so, like, okay, well, because they were there and they could, they didn't have enough room for them on the table, so I had to make sure, like. You know, they were cool with it. By the way, none of us get all fucking... I wouldn't have let them in the room. Ass. But no, so. I'm just <laughs> But like, dude, you... Uh, we Yeah, we only had a limited time uh, limited time and a limited amount of people on the very small so stage. So I'm just making you feel uncomfortable. It's fine. That's okay. I, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I, 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 It was fun. And the thing is, though, focus on how many people were asking about you at yeah. the meetup. Oh, yeah. I like, got more shout outs in the fucking crowd. <laughs> Everybody was asking about you, and we, you know, as we'll get you out here, or 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 we're going over there, which is a real possibility now. Still don't have to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand as he's saying they will come to your I house. I know where you to live now, me. dude. So that little, like, yeah, you know, like, you know where I've lived for ages. Uber, who's knocking at my door, and then I'll kidnap you. Oh, I don't mind you coming around. You can grab yeah. So yeah. It was Gary pulls up in like an actual Amazon outfit. Yeah, it's Amazon. Get, get yeah. over here. I'd open. Yeah. I'll answer the door then because that, that could be stuff. I got a hard time. No, you got a sign for There's this. a lot it's... of packages over Hello, here. I got for hot, you. Lots of toys here for <laughs> Mr. Stress. <laughs> oh, coming. you need to sign for this one. It's the Optimus Prime trailer. You know. <laughs> you see the Lego Optimus Prime? Like yeah, dude. It's Fucking! Mm. I, I don't have the patience for that, but bless you, it looks awesome. If somebody oh, puts together for me, hours. <laughs> yeah, can somebody just build it for me and send it to me? Yeah, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> in in foam, so it doesn't Dude, break. That's what I did at the comic store. I'd have my employees build the Doctor Who shit for me. I'd pay them. You'd have to glue it. Fifty bucks if you if you build this for me, because uh, I had no patience for it. Oh, or fifty dollars. Yeah. Tifa can knock on the door. By the way, yeah. Tifa, Tifa or Antifa? <gasps> Tifa. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Just do Antifa's separate. too busy. Batman's too busy letting Antifa do shit. Yeah. But hey, uh, it's great yo. to be back. Love you guys. Um, can I ask one question about this meetup, Gary? Yeah. So is it true that Ryan Kinnell <laughs> got a wrong order again at the that fancy was, restaurant? That was a fact. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't true. My poor guy. I know. How does that even <laughs> happen? That's insane. Uh, it's karma. It's real. You know, you're freaking asshole to people to working you know, at, at, at Wendy's that, you know, just making five bucks an hour slinging burgers and they got to deal with some fucking redneck coming in, <laughs> bitch about his fucking tacos all the time. Yeah. It's good. It's what did they get wrong? Doesn't matter, details. Nina. It doesn't fucking I need matter. I details. What Jesus happened? Jesus fucking Christ. But it's okay. Which, We're doing a the show equation. about fucking pop culture. Do you want to know what Ryan no, fucking did? It's fascinating to me. It's fucking text him. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's you like, got his number? <laughs> what? No, I don't you have his number. You got his DMs? What? I don't. I don't. I just want to know: Was the waitress Slip a into woman? Slip his DMs and say, "Ryan, no. what her. were you eating?" It was a dude, and who could have oh. probably been a like a male model. <laughs> well, I asked for some chicken, and uh, then I asked for some. The manager was hitting on Krista Nova. Oh. Uh, I'm asking the hard hitting questions everyone want to know. As come on, now. we want to talk about Kenobi and Miss Marvel. <laughs> yeah, hey, I didn't, I didn't fucking watch Miss Marvel. I didn't have well, to I watch Kenobi. Good. Good. Well, you Neither guys, did I after episode, episode one. <laughs> I was like watching the second episode to be all prepared for the show, you know, like dumb me being prepared for the show. And you're like, you played yourself, bitch. <laughs> you <played> yourself, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> we didn't even watch it. <laughs> 
I'm watching this because of you. That's what I said. Harry, like, we didn't so even cool. watch it. <laughs> Like, oh my uh, god, I'm just so happy that there's Pakistani representation. That's all. Really? No, I'm really? not. And and, I... and and they call the 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 nega bands uh bangle bangles Whoa. bangles. They just they don't even they make them look like Captain Marvel, then they're not Captain Marvel, and then she just learns her powers in like fucking five minutes. Oh, and then it's the like, same thing. Why, why wouldn't mosque and go to a party and get to know her friends? And I'm like, you know, I, I, like I like Tina. I like John Hughes. I like John Hughes. Sixteen mm-hmm. Candles, great fucking movie. Great fucking. Mm-hmm. Movie. I love that movie. Um, th- this is uh, it's shit. But you know, it's because it's written by we can call her just one draft. Uh, Basha K. Ali. Uh, Ali! One draft because she wrote one draft and fucked off to Netflix after the yeah. show. <laughs> what's she made for Netflix? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Uh, oh, uh, oh, what's uh, your boy Zach did a great video on uh, Ava Duvarnish today, mm. uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, she ain't getting any work anymore either. Like it's like the it's it's going bye bye, folks. The woke show <laughs> is going bye bye. Um, everything's been canceled. You know, uh, DMZ. She worked on DMZ, which was a uh, like it was like honestly, I thought it was a shit comic. Uh, oh, dude, there is a there is another meme that we cannot show on this show. We have to build <laughs> up a little bit. Actually, Mahler wanted to talk to me about it because he didn't think it'd be appropriate for the show. I think it's totally appropriate for the show, to be honest with you. Can I see it? Can, I'll can show we it put it in the private chat because oh. it's one of the greatest memes I've ever seen that we cannot. I don't think we could show. I don't. I don't want to risk Az's channel. I, I I love Az, even though I forgot to mention him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm never gonna live it down. I love you so much. This is, this is like the fuck you. This were. is gonna be exactly like forgetting Mother's Day or something like that with my wife. I'm just this is shit. I'm gonna own forever. <laughs> Ever. What was it? I put like I put something like uh drink was just like, oh yeah, because when you want shout out, well, gotta somebody... give a shout out to a small channel's like, oh critical drinker. Oh fuck you. Drinker on our you, desk. You, you. That's why. I and I and I I'm I'm an asshole. Listen, one time I forgot to pick up my wife from the airport like 10 years ago, right? Um it's like it just happened yesterday. Whoops. And it's gonna be like this. Mm. It's, it's gonna be like this. I gotta point Remember that, that out. time you left me at the car at the yeah. airport. It's like the first time that my husband came to pick me up for our first date and he was late two hours and it it's still wow. wow, and you still I married him. Treat him mean, keep him keen. He fucking got you. <laughs> like he showed up. <laughs> He showed, he showed up with up. flowers and he took me to the most expensive restaurant in Vancouver. So it just it, <laughs> I was gonna follow it up with something, but that wouldn't <laughs> do, be. Do you know why he's two hours late? You guys keep marinating. That. That's what he's doing. He's king and <laughs> marinating. We all know why she locked it down, and it wasn't the fucking flowers of the meal. It was what happened. <laughs> yeah. It was dessert. That's what I'm saying. Molly, how you doing? Oh, I'm a little good. Kenobi, that's been my life for the past few weeks. I've been editing the shit out of all those minis. They're a, it's a nightmare show, as you guys may be aware. It's the mm. kind of thing, as it's been, I don't know who described it this way at first, but it's, it's pretty apt to say that it's the TLJ for prequel fans. Uh, they're getting to see a lot of their shit get ruined now, which is, you I, know, it's only the right way to go. Mahler, um, I heard there's like major drama with Star Wars theory with it, but I, I don't know what the hell is going on. But I just know um, there's major As far drama. as I'm aware, he was critical of episode four. Um, I don't know if that triggered sequel fans. Did it? I think I, I so. Yeah, I saw I saw some dumb bint uh, saying uh, I was justified in attacking Star Wars theory, and uh. he, you know, it's okay for me to do. It. It's not like he's like a POC or oh, LD or some shit like that. Some real fucking like she looks like 15, 16 years old. You know, real dumb fucking bint who hasn't had a sit, you know, a, a bit of life experience to a name whatsoever. Going now, it's it's quite all right to attack him because he's toxic because he's got right. different opinions. Yeah, okay. Oh shit! But they didn't and actually just, bring up anything. They just called him toxic for oh, yeah, yeah. It's to, oh. Him and his him and him and his his audience are toxic, mm. or his audience are toxic. Therefore, he's toxic. It's that fucking word, that buzzword that yeah. vacuous people use. When they don't have an opinion for themselves, and then when somebody has a, a, a different opinion to them, their fucking world falls apart because their life is so fucking good that they've never had to worry about a single fucking thing, 
clothes on their back, food on their table, roof over the head, fresh fucking towels in the bathroom ever. So somebody going, didn't quite like that episode. And this is why I didn't quite like that episode. Destroys their fucking vacuous, empty, fragile life. Well, that's why we're all racist for not liking it. So. Well, no, I'm just racist because I hate. But wait, what? <laughs> well, it's interesting that this is going down because, I mean, you know, we we did the panel. Some people chirped about that. The Star Wars theories thing is going down, and the, the term "toxic positivity" is going around. Even Campia chimed in on it you know toxic positivity yeah taking star wars theory side and all of a sudden there's all this fucking understanding going on like you know sometimes people just don't like stuff and it's okay oh 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 happened you know i got nothing against star wars theory for us like you know maybe if he did in the past i'm like fucking over it he's been cool you know he does his own thing i'm fine with it but it's just i think it's really interesting all this understanding is going on now mm. well he replied to like somebody replying to the reply or something and he was just like i'm fucking sick of this bullshit yeah I <laughs> that's, gloves, what, gloves that's are, the one i saw gloves are coming off like, now i'm just gonna going say what the on? fuck i want good. and that's why Ooh. i said yeah i responded to him I'm like mm, good uh, hey mm-hmm. however you get there that's good take them gloves just off buddy. get there if you well, I mean, it's uh, it's that Batman meme, right? So like, like Star Wars series doesn't like an episode, and they all go like go nuts on him, and then they say like, you know, the toxicity, and then we all stand up with Batman mask on, going like, then you're gonna love me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I pretty much despised every episode of Kenobi. They're all terrible. <laughs> they are. Well, that's why I was so shocked, Mahler, because I heard that he enjoyed Kenobi for the most part. And yeah. then I guess like all of a sudden it's like he said this one thing and everyone's like, you toxic son of a bitch. And it's like, well, he liked it. Like he actually did like the damn show. So it's just so it odd. To, whatever their perspective is, you got to agree with it 100% or they go nuts. Yep. Every time. Um, because yeah, like, uh, you know, for those who don't know, episode five was actually one that played pretty well with a lot of people, it did for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> like, can't tell you um, why. Did they I, fucking I, listen to the words? I, I, I think it's because of the no, they saw the laser swords going around. That's all. I mean, god, that's that, 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 like, god, that's like, that's that, 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 and then say my back. I did it. That I did. Uh, oh, Matrix. <laughs> I mean, like having Anakin and Obi Wan in the Attack of the Clones <laughs> outfits. That was enough to give it ten out of ten for a lot of people. And I was just like, God damn it, man. Yeah, yeah. Obi Wan's lesson was like. Yes, I have lost my lightsaber, but Anakin, you don't realize I haven't lost yet, and pulls Anakin's lightsaber off him, and then just defines that he's won. It's like, I have won now. And it's like, no, you haven't. You <laughs> <laughs> I have the high ground, ground Obi-Wan. Like, take it back. <laughs> and like, like Anakin defeats him the normal fire way, that he's like, you haven't won. You, 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 your desire for victory is why you... I found that lesson so strange. I was like, but he did What win. was the lesson? <laughs> no, I don't what even know lesson? what the lesson was. Yeah, that's why I said, like, if, you know, in that flashback, we learned uh, what we learned in the prequels, basically. That Anakin was kind of impulsive. The writing was really bad. Hayden Christensen can't act, and everything was forced. I think the idea that he's too what impulsive and that's a problem for him is totally older, fine. <laughs> um, but specifically, the lesson doesn't doesn't fucking work because Obi Wan doesn't have a weapon, and he's like, "I haven't lost yet." Takes Anakin's weapon. Anakin now now doesn't have a weapon. And he's like, "But you have," and it's just like you're just cheating, dude. Like you're saying that <laughs> the fight's over when I can just grab your lightsaber that's on the yeah, floor. Yeah. No, go I can <laughs> kicks him in the balls. You haven't won yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? It, like people... it, it came across as super condescending to me that Obi Wan just taps on the shoulder like you'll get there one day. And it's like fuck you, I won. Like <laughs> you're just saying I didn't. Well, I heard people don't die anymore when they get stabbed in the chest with a Qui-Gon's lightsaber. Why God's a pussy? Hashtag Why God's like. <laughs> What the fuck's going on here? Dude, I would go as far as saying right now that stabbing someone in the chest is like the equivalent of they get drugged, like by chloroform. That's how it works. <laughs> That's like I, thought, I, I thought it was right. the, the, the lightsaber version of a flesh wound. 
Just so she got, she got stabbed on her left side of the chest. That would be where her fucking heart is. <laughs> wow. I got oh, the the heart's kind of more sensitive. Yeah, wound through the middle of her. What the fuck? Like, how if does you that look where she was stabbed, it's like she's hitting the lung. Like, she's dead. Dead. She's it's, fucking dead. When they're at the wide angle. Yeah. It's it's right through her fucking chest and she's gone. It's she's in her sternum. Right. She's so then dead. when it comes back, it's suddenly in her, her side. As black women are so powerful. Well, hey, she, you know what? She's survived the ones before up. as, so she's used to it. Yeah, did it hit her scar <laughs> tissue? Oh, and went straight through that as well. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe she did it. She did, what are you saying, Disney? She did it to her as a kid as well. It's such yeah. a joke. I was it? I put I think I put out a tweet like <laughs> Vader Nil Reaver 2 in like <laughs> Saber. <laughs> Dude, when Vader sees her again, he's gonna be like, seriously? Are you, you fucking <laughs> real? Are you for fucking real, bitch? Wasn't it weird? Like he's he's talking to her and all of a sudden the Grand Inquisitor shows up, starts monologuing, and <laughs> Vader just around. Yeah, Vader doesn't, Vader doesn't give a fuck anymore. I'm just just like, I got stabbed to the chest. He always said, he's got stuff. two stomachs. Well, I got two balls, but if I get <laughs> stabbed in the fucking <laughs> stomach, I'm gonna die. A gut wound is the worst wound you can have. It no, gets- Gary. No, no, no. It's obvious two stomachs would mean getting stabbed in the stomach means you're fine. You could literally just walk yeah. around fine. Yeah. yeah. Don't need it. This is fascinating. Qui-Gon is there going, excuse me! <laughs> right? He's like, motherfucker! <laughs> you should have known then, better then than Then half of Maul crawls up and goes, I don't even ask me, mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be back like in the Clone Wars. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know if uh, any of you guys have seen like, uh, <laughs> 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 it. Free time, whatever. <laughs> Obliterated by an exploding death star. Yeah. There's like uh we we were covering like a post on the Star Wars subreddit from like just fans coping as hard as possible, saying like it makes sense for the Grand Inquisitor to have that happen. This was before episode five, so they didn't know that Reva had been stabbed twice in the stomach. <laughs> so it's just like oh, no. the way they justified it before was that you know he's he's a species with two stomachs. I don't know what they're gonna say about her. It's like she probably has two stomachs. <laughs> like she, okay. Know. I'm not advising anyone. But if you stab yourself in your stomach, one or fucking two, it's not like he's a fucking Klingon. It's like, well, there's the backup device, the backup, uh, you know, organ now suddenly takes. He got, it's still fucking die. Yeah, they treat it as though it's like a computer set of parts where you lose one of your hard drives. Like, you got plenty of hard drives. Like, no, no, we're biological. There's blood and guts in there. <laughs> like, do you understand what happens when you stab it? No, he's got two stomachs. She probably Let's has introduce Nina before we carry people. on this, this debacle. Mm, Dina, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys doing? Well, I know I know how Gary is doing. Uh, probably really tired from all the driving around, but I'm good. Uh, I put out a video about Ezra Miller, who is a total creep, but it's um, it's about his history of how he got to be a creep, uh, the 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 victim aspect of it. So it's mm-hmm. uh, it's being shadow banned. It's uh it's it's very hard topic. So go and check it out on my channel, Nina Infinity, and I'm gonna be putting out uh part two and probably part three out at some point. Uh, but it's definitely it's definitely an interesting, interesting experience with this. Ezra one. Miller can probably describe in detail uh a lot of Hollywood penises. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, he could. And probably uh, even before when he spent time at the um the I, the, the opera. Yes. Oh, the the Oprah. Yes. Okay. No, no, no. The other. No, no I know. <laughs> the I like, singing. Uh, Days at the Oprah. The opera. Yeah, the opera. When he was not a the singer. Opera. The opera is the not opera. Like, super straight. <laughs> what? <laughs> the opera is renowned for being you know, musical theater no. and all that. Yeah. Like, renowned for uh, being as a super theater. straight. Theater. 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 Sorry. Theater. Yeah. Theater. That's right. That's right. Adi. Uh, hmm. You have to imagine I, there's both Ezra Miller's agent and some executive at Warner Brothers both just scrolling through live Twitter updates about his mishaps, like just crying, <laughs> knowing. That. How was he not found and arrested yet? <laughs> because um, my who's theory... Hollywood exec's house is he hiding out in? This... Well, no, he he has a 95 acre uh, property. He's probably 
hiding out on his own property. But um, my theory is that he just knows way too much. So yeah. that's why he's not found. I think he, that's a good theory. Wait, he is he going to do real, Jesse Smiley? I am, I am not mentally fatigued. I am not wanting to kill myself. <laughs> he's like a real life super villain. Uh, for real, he's like, yeah, he's, way, he, that was funny he is fun. reverse flash. <laughs> I, uh, we, we, we said that in front of, um, in front of uh, Rags, and he was like, you know, like, oh, reverse, but like the flash, but like evil. We we're like, no, reverse flash. Yeah, and he, he was like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, reverse flash is a character. And he was like, there's a character called reverse flash. And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I said that he should have been he should have been cast as reverse flash from the beginning. I said that like way, way back in the day, and everyone was mm -hmm. like, no, he's the whoa, 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 flash whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just fucking say he? Oh, oh I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I mean they. Um yeah, that by the way, that you was just probably committed a fucking hate crime. I know that was probably the hardest part of the video that I was making was because it's scripted and I you know, I've been taught grammar all my life. So it's really hard to write down they them versus he when it's when it's you know You can't be calling that dude he. You just can't. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the rules but you know what's so crazy is in the comments um some people are having a dichotomy because in some places i call him he but in some places i call him they and so they're like what <clears throat> what's going on with this with this youtuber like does does she not know that it's the oh they she does know but what i don't understand like why she sometimes calls him they and sometimes not and then because it, he's a man a grown-ass fucking man Who's a he? Yes. Uh, that is playing a fucking biological. game, Who's just like ninety nine percent of these Hawaii. pronoun fucking freaks uh, that but they want to be something special. It's so crazy though because they're having a dichotomy. They're like, <sighs> it like using the right pronouns doesn't take away from the fact that he's a creep and he should be called out because they all like don't like him now and the fact that he's doing this makes them look bad. So they're kind of turning on him. It's pretty interesting to witness. It was funny seeing him. Um, oh, he's making humanity look bad. Yeah. Humanity. Yeah, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, dude. Just on Twitter, it, Ezra Miller looks normal. It's dark. It's a dark. He has a dark history. What's the worst thing that's fucking... been done? Like, was there. Because he knocked someone out, right? Or something? He... Other than the grooming, like the alleged grooming. He choked. I, th someone. I thought that there was nobody's like nearly died or anything. Have they or have they? He choked someone. He spat on someone and threatened them. And then he home invaded them, stole their shit. Then he went to a place where he got into another fight with another woman. He threw a chair at her, which like apparently got her on the head. Um, he also got into another fight with several other people, but wasn't arrested at that time. Trying to get in the bar. He also apparently harassed another they them tiktoker and uh sorry that they thems don't exist yeah but, but the, the funny part about this person though is that they're coming out and saying that ezra didn't respect their pronouns while they were having sex um <laughs> and called it called her good girl while they were having sex and she's like he knows I'm, I'm not, like I'm not, going I'm by the rude. Them, I'm not and totally rude, Nina. I'm really not. <laughs> Who the fuck gives a shit about Ezra Miller fucking in pronouns? Well, this fucking a pronoun. Guy, <laughs> some I, people I just, apparently do. I don't think people really do. I they, think it's uh, ninety percent bots and ten percent fifteen-year-olds trying to test social media and, boundaries. And hundred percent slow mm -hmm. news day. Mm -hmm. and, but and, yeah, and, but yeah, Mueller, he did throw autism. a chair at someone. Yeah. And also well, no you guys gonna see the Flash movie when it comes out? <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. I mean, dark, it, right? You gotta wonder how many times they've re-edited that movie. Well, like, well, already. Funny is, I wonder if Batgirl's gonna beat Flash to Michael Keaton. I, I, I'm one because they talked about putting it in theaters, which is it's kind of suck too. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if they they do that first, uh, so it's not the first Michael Keaton appearance. I they're fucked, you know. Warner Brothers is America's dumbest company. That's why Zaslav's in charge and he's chopping everything up. Although they're still woke <laughs> as shit. Don't even worry about that. 
Uh, but yeah, like all these fucking geniuses who just got fired uh, after the whole Snyder kerfuffle and hiring Ezra fucking Miller, which, dude, Zack Snyder hired Ezra Miller <laughs> as the fucking trash. We have to point that out. That is a fact. True. Which is, you know what? That's on him. That's and on him. Uh, yeah, he's a terrible Flash. He's always been a terrible Flash. It was a uh, terrible Flash. Grant Gustin would be fine. You know, <laughs> what else even the Maze what? Runner kid. What's his name? That kid is pretty good too. I would, I would, sure. that guy. What, what are we else? What, what can we do? What can we push in front of the Flash? Uh, we can delay it by putting Aquaman too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. no. You yeah, know what? Be the point, office for that day. Where they're they're like, like, Sir, what of our actors that they're just, they're so unpalatable now. And it's like, I know <laughs> we've already dealt with it. We've removed yeah. it from the fucking movie. They go, No, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. Warner Brothers oh. is as dumb as Disney is evil. Just What's saying. Cyborg's real name? Ray, Ray Parler? Cryborg. Ray Parker. Ray Parker. Junior. What it just came into work one day and went, <clears throat> So Ray Parker killed someone and he's lined up for the next. <laughs> We're going to have to push Amber Heard just... forward. They should just cancel The Flash at this point and just make it a Batman movie Ray and Fisher. just make it the Fisher. return of Michael Keaton and then they'll actually make money. Like, I, I don't... That, like, we're in an unprecedented moment here. Like, that movie's done, right? It's all done. It's just... Yes. It's been done. It's, it's, been, yeah, it's done. been done for so ages. They've got, yeah. they've got contractual obligations. Parts. Like, they have to just get it out. It's got to come out. It's they should have released Aquaman 2, though. It... Aquaman 2's been done for ages. The Flash has been done for ages. Yeah, but it's they like, should have released it like three months ago before this grooming thing hit because at least they would have been able to make yeah. some money. Now the grooming thing over. is hit. <laughs> yeah, this 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 might be a bridge too far. I, yeah, I, I, I think it is because yeah. it is for the they them. They terrorized Hawaii for six months. Because even the ones that said they were going to go watch the movie are now like, this guy's a creature. We've got to the cultural going. boundaries as well, Nina, because even though that uh, girl is 18... And that's an adult in the eyes of a uh, in the United States, uh, not on that tribal land. She is um, not an adult, so they need. Yeah, to it's also a twelve-year-old. Yeah. That's interesting, also but also yeah. the fact that the parents introduced her to, uh, to him when she was twelve. Well, the, yeah, he met he her. met the dad four years before on another protest thing. So when they when when they had gone to because Ezra's an activist, so. He had gone to the pipeline to protest it with Chase. That's the girl's dad. Oh, and thanks. Then, uh, uh, what's the gas prices now? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I think they're averaging $5 across the country. I thought it was $7 that average. That pipeline would have really helped. Uh, it would have really helped, price. but they went and protested it, and they stopped it. Um, and then, so now, after that is when he introduced his daughter to him. There's a lot of accountability to be had on the parents' part, in my opinion, because I think it's all woke sure. on the time at this point. But I, I don't care about that because I just want to see this thing go down. I'm yeah, I not going around. I'm this is fuck. fucking terrible. Responsible. Hollywood's responsible. But hey, Hollywood's all about, you know, being against cultural appropriation. So they need to respect the culture of that tribal did land. You, did you people. hear? I don't Gary, care if they introduced him before. They need to uh, arrest this man right now for grooming a child. Gary, that's the second one, right? Because the another girl and her mom, another 12-year-old girl uh, and her mom came out and put a, another uh, thing about, about him, uh, another uh, restraining order. And they cited that he said that they were cultural appropriating their own culture. And that's why... They got mad and they got into a fight. You culture appropriate your own culture. <laughs> I know. Uh, she she said, because she claimed she was like doing something with her Dreadlocks. tribe. Dreadlocks. He, That's he, how you culturally appropriate your own culture. <laughs> oh my God. Because she used the word tribe and he, she got mad and she said, you can't use the word tribe. Or, or he got mad and said, you can't use the word tribe. I and care. she was like, I'm a fucking I'm native. I fucking care what everyone <laughs> likes and doesn't like. I'm sorry, but. Tribe doesn't belong to anybody. That's such a weird that how's that what well Ezra Miller doesn't like the word tribe. It's, really? It's, it's cultural. Let me just find now. all the fucks I give. Look, what if look, I'm British. Here, what if my culture sure is appropriating other cultures? What if that is my culture? What do I do then? 
that's yeah, but you can't appropriate your own well, you culture appropriated first because no, it's I'm your saying, culture no, as i'm saying i am a protected cultural appropriator because that is my culture <laughs> that's literally his culture because he's british yeah we so steal from I everybody that is something, <laughs> that's my culture you just well, no, we're indigenous <laughs> so to, to be outraged at it is to be outraged at my culture which i find offensive mm -hmm. but we're um, not we're not we're not appropriate and we're indigenous uk is indigenous if you if you boil it down does it count if we crawled out of caves? You have a bunch of French Imagine fuckers. Oh, no, mind. the Welsh. Blood. Oh, we've, we've had we've had people come over and do shit to us, but you know, Norman, just like Ezra Miller, Normie, Norman, sorry, uh, Saxon, Norman, the, Saxon. The, the Normies, <laughs> the Normies came over. The Normies. They left very quickly. <laughs> I can't remember the law. Either the Welsh came out of I caves or they this landed shit I'm out. from like a comet. Oh my god! These fucking people are eating mud. I'm out of here. I know, right? The, the Romans don't knock it till you try it. Jeez, it's like pineapple <laughs> on pizza, right? Hey, but we just we just came over to get ruled. We didn't we they didn't come over to uh, to populators. The, well, the Vikings stole people <laughs> and took them away. Oh, sorry. This is before the uh, invention of slavery. Yeah. <laughs> He in Africa, the workers' home. That's all. Yeah, they they pop over, do some rapping, do some pillaging, nick some, nick some people, jog on. French came over. <laughs> Their dreadlocks. Beaters said, "Right, we're gonna <laughs> fuck up your language. <laughs> we're gonna invent. We're gonna bring crepes to the UK." The Romans have come along and look. We'll hey. make these spas. We'll make you wash your fucking filthy people. We'll we'll oh, make roads horror. for you. Oh, the horror. But we're still indigenous at the end of the day. I'm not. I'm not from this dimension. No, yeah, you're... Well, yeah, you're completely monster. Yeah. Well, that's what Ezra Miller said. He said he's hiding out oh, in another dimension. That he's not from this dimension? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said he's in the speed force now. Uh, good. And that was yeah, his... Troll that well, was let's move on yeah. from this fucking crazy fuck. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. Dude, dude imagine Greg Gustin dressed up as Flash and went and captured him. That'd be funny as fuck. <laughs> 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 and they're running they're running after they're running after each other oh, the <laughs> and then somebody takes the footage and speeds it up oh my god <laughs> and they get a couple of farmers just to stand there real still for 12 hours uh yeah <laughs> so, so Ezra Miller <laughs> <laughs> Well, so yeah, check out my channel if you want to find out more about Ezra Miller and his crazy shit. Thank you for the yeah. intro. <laughs> um, the, the other the other surprising small bit of news was that I was forced to check out another TV show uh, by Ooh. several people recommending. I'll be honest, it was uh, it was Gary telling me about it that made me actually decide to watch it instead because I'd, I'd seen several positive tweets and I was like, nah. Well, what is it? Nah. Well, I'm setting it up. It's it's quite strange, to be honest with you. It's got I feel like things. I'm giving it away. <laughs> it's a strange Stranger thing. Things. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Um. Because I don't know if you guys remember rolling your minds back. Stranger Things season one was quite a hit. Everyone loved mm -hmm. it. Everyone was spreading around. Get get involved. And then um, I was one of a couple of people who felt season two was just a rehash of season one. They tried to redo everything. A lot of similar payoffs. They just wanted to get the same bank on it, and I felt like it ruined basically everything um i'll go into depth in that and someday in some video maybe who knows uh and then season three came out i refused to watch it until a friend was like please because he didn't want to watch it on his own and i was like all right fine i watched it with him and i was mostly laughing at it uh season three for most of the fans is known as just the season that what the fuck were they doing they'd lost their minds um mm, yeah I, I don't know how many people it's here have seen tedious. it gary i'm assuming you saw it did you oh yeah i've seen, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it correct me if i'm wrong is it just that they realize there's a Russian base like a mile underneath Hawkins? Yeah, just sitting mm -hmm. there, like with all this crazy how, technology. How fucking absurd. I remember finding out that was the premise and I was like, what? Well, Mahler, that that was the whole that was the time that TDS basically hit everyone and the whole Russia gate thing was like big time in the news. So they that reflected what was going on in Stranger Things season three. So that's the only reason that they made the Russian guys the bad guys at that point. 
well, it didn't work very well for storytelling. <laughs> like, no. Um, no. Yeah, and I just remember being embarrassed watching it and being like, yeah, Stranger Things is fucking dead. It's it's all over. They could do whatever they want. And then people were like, season four, though. And I was like, that's fine. You go, you go, you guys go ahead. And then I saw some people being like, no, but it's good, though. It might even be as good as season one. I like laughed. So I was just like, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure it's real great. And then Gary was like, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe, maybe you have a look. Maybe. You know, just give it, give it a look, see. I watched like one or two episodes and I was like, this is fine. I'll keep going. And uh, I've told other people as well. Once, once I finished episode four, I was like, all right, what's going on? I told you episode four was my favorite. It was so good. I was I think like, it's Damn. everybody's favorite, to be no honest. Spoilers. With you. No, spoilers. I will not spoil. I will, no, I will spoil. keep it as clear no as possible. Though I will say, um, I forced Jay to watch all of it, and Jay was like, I can't see it without uh, seeing season two and three, or if you mostly forgotten one, too. And I was like, you know, you kind of can. It doesn't, uh, you don't really miss out on a huge amount. You'll have one or two questions here and there, but you really don't need to see season three. I would say you can skip season two, but to be honest with you, you could skip season one. Uh, you just need a friend to just give you some basics about, because they do a lot of, um, a lot of the dialogue is reflective of like, Oh, we know that this is the case. So how is this happening? And then you're like, oh, that's the case. Okay. Mm. Um, though, yeah. At this point, I would recommend season one, and then just go straight to season four. <laughs> that's <laughs> what. That's season what I said. At all season two, like you don't need it at all. No, you don't need to watch it. They don't Let's reference it. it. And there's only like one little thing that, well, not little. There's a couple of things that they reference from season three that they explain in the show, so you don't have to fucking sit through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They do uh, a lot of like vision flashing stuff yeah. to be like, this is the scene, that's what happened in it. And you're like, yep, all right, mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, like I'm not gonna say it's like the greatest thing ever, but I was I was pretty impressed. And um they've yeah. done they've done a couple of things <laughs> that I would consider to be like mechanically the the guide to repairing your show. They've rejigged and refocused, let's call it the law of Stranger Things. They've taken if you think of that as a car, they've taken like all the, the, the pieces out and then scrubbed them clean and put them back on. Mm-hmm. They've shown us stuff, they've recontextualized it, they're, they're arguing that different things happened, different characters were involved, and they've done it in a way that they best can not damage what it was. They're trying mm-hmm. to remain within what's been established, but also being like, by the way, all of this was going on too. And you're like, oh, okay. Weird, it never came up, but that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. well, we'll just keep going. Um, there's that. There's on. They've they've uh, established a brand new villain that's really focused. Has a whole set of pretty cool powers. I don't think this is a spoiler at all. In fact, I think it's a, maybe a way to get you invested in maybe checking it out. He's very yeah, reminiscent. The biggest problem with uh, the series going yeah. on. Uh, that that was like part of the issue with season two and three was that they'd lost any sense of because the Demogorgon kind of brought season one together. It's just this this horrible new slasher monster in a sense. But season two and three were lost. Season four basically gives you a combination of pretty cool references i'd say the biggest one for this would be freddy krueger um yeah the, the characters being in the 80s are aware of that they even mm-hmm. like notice there's some similarity obviously different character obviously slightly different powers but uh, a lot of it's reminiscent and it's they take advantage of that in a lot of ways especially being i don't know if it shocked you guys but it shocked me i was like oh yeah this is our rated fuck it hell <laughs> it's like i forgot yeah, how, uh... yeah. Mm-hmm. i mean they yeah. hide a couple of things because the, it there's some p- gruesome deaths fucking gruesome there's just some parts in, it in a good way like, oh man yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. They, yeah i don't consider it excessive it's it's all a no, part no, of um, no the stuff they're trying to show and tell sort of i'll, I'll just say stuff. like i can handle like decapitations and arms getting cut off and stuff i can't handle like compound fractures like things bones getting mm. Ooh. Like, Ooh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah 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 oh, oh no that's what happens yeah <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the, yeah 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 it was creepy yeah, uh, there is I a bit it. of that um so yeah, uh, bringing in a new villain and focusing that. But then also they've brought in, I, th- I would go as far as saying, one very important new character that I think has desperately been needed for a show like this for ages. Yes. Um, and again, just remaining spoiler free, I, I think it's worth saying like Stranger Things being set in the now mid 80s, but at one point just the 80s in general, I guess I should say. You'd be like, oh, we're in a high school and we've got the nerdy characters, but you still have plenty of other uh, groupings that are presented. But the one thing I've always felt wasn't quite there was uh metalheads basically mm-hmm. it's the, the the group that are so into that genre that you know the hairstyles you know the clothes they wear it's like where are they at why aren't they in this more and they've brought in a new character that is just that encompassed and um 
they get him right into character. the storyline. And yeah, he's basically everybody's favorite new character. Um, mm -hmm. He's pretty accurate <clears throat> to that kind of a character at the time. Everybody had a friend like that uh, back then. If you lived there, if you lived in the eighties, I mean, there's a it's a hodgepodge, and they get some things wrong. Like they'll mm -hmm. introduce a song two years that it doesn't come out for two years or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. Like that doesn't yeah. bother. Me. But they. Uh, they they get the feeling right and they're focusing less on the nostalgia part of it and that they're, they're actually focusing on story now and again it's not like the greatest thing ever made uh but it's fun if, like after i what i thought was a slow start it got way better and i the only reason i even sat down and watched it is because uh melissa wanted to watch it so and i've already seen that, so i'm like all right let's watch it and uh, i'm like oh shit I was good. I was legitimately surprised. I, uh, I also think Mueller. One of the reasons it's it's good and it's better is because of what I said about the uh, season three thing. They stepped away from TDS and they were like, let's focus on the story more. Let's not have this like weird political thing. And they just kind of went back to like actually telling the story that they were trying to tell from the beginning uh, yep. before all that crazy shit happened. The the thing I I couldn't help but notice was like there's one year gaps pretty much between seasons one two and two three but then three four has a three-year gap it's like i fucking hope they took that time to redraft basically oh, uh, yeah there's and gonna Ar be a new one in and argyle's like pro uh pineapple on pizza speech is the greatest uh, uh <laughs> television i've ever seen i was dying when i watched that because i was like gary's probably so happy right now and i was like about to throw popcorn at the screen like shut Marvel. up no favorite show ever terrible <laughs> have um, you seen um there's a clip yeah. of the actor for argyle like with the rest of them taking photos and stuff and someone in the crowd shouts out you don't deserve to be with them uh specifically what? for him and david harbour's just like just ignore him man it's just like wow that's really mean that's <laughs> like, brutal i've never heard that that's crazy. that's really harsh yeah. yeah, just uh, I guess because he's a new character. Well, that, it's it's you know. good. We like it. We're gonna talk about it. But uh, as hasn't seen it, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move. That is the spoiler Ash. free discussion. Oh. <laughs> well, to be honest, yeah, because as if you get into it to some degree, we should do we could do a real BBC on uh, the show once the next two episodes come out. <clears throat> if you guys want, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it's plenty. Plenty. No, I, I saw I saw enjoy. season one. Loved season one. Saw season two. Season two side, but you don't it's need to see. Didn't even, didn't even season bother seeing season just three. Skip it. Three's just worse. Skip, it. Just skip three. Four. Three yeah. will make you unhappy. Just skip three. Yeah, skip them both. <laughs> just go to just four. Go if you have any questions, just hit me up. You'll be fine. Yeah. You don't need Why did they two. do a thing? They explain it. They're really well. You tell me if you if you skip those two seasons and watch it. You tell me if like that you're lost. No, I saw two. I just didn't mother. like it. I thought two was yeah. terrible. Well, I feel you, like they don't even reference two in this. Like they don't reference at two at all. Like, and the yeah. recap basically tells you everything you need to do, know for season yeah, three. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, okay, I'm caught up now. I, I, I mean, I it felt to me like this season has been trying to be like, yeah, okay, we fucked up uh, a lot of times. I'm yes. actually going to fix the, the yes. one of the ones that I consider over. And this wouldn't be a spoiler for us because you said you've seen season two, right? Yeah. So if you remember season one, I find this really interesting. And I think I'm not even sure if I line up with the Stranger Things like fandom with this, but I need to rewatch the show to get this right. So if you remember, the, the show starts out with Steve Harrington being like a jock stereotype. Mm -hmm. um, but he has these little moments where he's like showing a bit more humanity and they subvert you by having him be kind of a hero by the end of the season. He's not mm -hmm. the expected sort of lame character. And they have this thing where him and uh, Nancy are like, they're coming together, but at the end of the season, she's like, "You know what? Like, I thought you were an asshole. You're not, but at the same time, I don't think we, I don't think we should be together anymore." And you're like, "Okay, that's that's a way they can take it if they want you." Like, that seemed to be some kind of, all right. She ends up going for Jonathan instead, and I remember thinking because I think that's season two that they really go for that. I, I remember being like, "Why? Like, this just feels a little bit awkward." Because you remember Jonathan was like really um stalky with her and taking mm -hmm. photos of her while she was like undressing. Is a memory yeah. I have. Yeah, and I remember being like. This is a bit awkward. I don't know, man. Not vibing. This isn't, this isn't working for me. And then they shove them together for like a while, and it's not working. They don't really have any chemistry at all. They're not. It's not. It's, just, it's not work. This season, they have separated them as far away from each other as possible, right at the beginning. And it's like, oh, okay. And they smack Nancy right into Steve for their storyline for a while, and. uh but the, I think the, that this... they were trying to do that the whole time, Mahler, because they wanted to create like that love triangle thing. 
So that was like their forced way of doing it. I, it didn't really I work, think a but... little bit differently. When you listen to what uh, Maya Hawke's character says, she says, I think some old flames were snuffed out and they maybe shouldn't have been. That sounds like the writer's saying, we made a mistake, okay? Oh. We moved her to that guy. We should have kept her with this guy. And uh, I just think it's evident from the fact you watch the two of them interacting, and it's like those actors clearly enjoy working together more so than the other two. Uh, mm -hmm. Their chemistry is like way more. I mean, everybody wanted them to be together. Well, I'll say this much. I really like Steve Harrington, the actor, for him, and everybody has good chemistry with him. He's just like... He's great. He's, yeah, he's, he's a very upbeat guy. He's uh, fun I, and Maybe the old... Yeah, maybe he's not Steve, but I'm forgetting his name now. The older brother's gonna die. Somebody's gonna die. Somebody's, somebody's gonna, gonna die. die, but don't it's spoil well it. Because, yeah. It's don't worry, as we said, someone. <laughs> <laughs> I know I, um, nobody's died yet. I'm just guessing. I think they're um, just setting it up, but I could be. I wrong. told you who I think is gonna die. Yeah. There's uh there's there's some good humor in this as well. Uh uh, because as you would have seen, Dustin and Steve have like a pretty fun relationship most of the time. The only angle of it is it's like there is like a 10-year difference there, so it's kind of funny and awkward. When they're seen by like other people, the jock leader, teenage guy of the school is hanging out with this nerdy kid. But the mm. dialogue between them is pretty good. And um, the opening of the season, I think they established Dustin as a part of like this big D and D group, and he's saying like uh, he needs a sub in because they've lost one of their team members. And Steve's like, I ain't playing that lay bass game with that new friend of yours. That he's like, you're just jealous. I hang out with other older men. <laughs> 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 yeah, you get fun stuff like that. There's a but, lot of fun yeah. stuff in there. But a lot of fun dialogue. Like, again, like like Gary said, I don't want to sound like I'm saying this show is the best thing ever. It's, it's just, it's so much better than season three, which isn't a high bar at all, that I was like, oh man, I remember why I like this show. This is weird. Yeah. And and like something coming out like that's pretty good right now is probably the great at this point compared to what, uh, what we have to choose from, which is Kenobi, Obi- well, Blow me one Kenobi. There, there was there was another show that I just finished on Netflix that I thought was fucking awesome, and that's Peaky Blinders season six. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I've seen but... the first couple. No, seasons. yeah, I have not. I haven't seen it, uh, but eventually I will. I wish they'd do a season two of Taboo. That's the same same guy, same guy with Tom Hardy. Uh, he's, not, he's a not. superhero. When you say same guy, you mean same director? Did, did same Tabo? showrunner. Oh, same show show runner. Runner. Okay. Even tonight is it? Even story I as if, if, to get yeah. you involved, we can talk about Kenobi then. All right, you yeah. love the show. I've, I've been trying to transition <laughs> Kenobi for like hello. Really? Yeah. Shave that beard. That's a start if you want That's to transition. Right. No way. Because yeah, we we as we as, we as this this team of four haven't talked about episode five really, right? Have we? Because that's how it works. No, no. We'll talk about yeah. episode five mm -hmm. of Kenobi. Um, um and yeah literally think, everyone on the planet's prediction about reva's backstory came true it's just like yep there it yep. is yep and people think i'm pretending not to watch it so i'm i'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about it so what'd you think of it as episode five shit <laughs> and that's the show folks i'm just thank you good night Reva, it's not even it's not even a pat on the back to guess the Reva storyline. Every it was so obvious. This, the writing is so basic in this show; it's unreal. There's not a clever thing that that's been done. Darth Vader's a fucking retard. Mm -hmm. Obi Wan's a fucking victim. Mm -hmm. Reva's a fucking retard as well. Leia's a fucking. Re Everyone's a fucking retard. Because you're only as, you're only as uh, as clever as your writers, and and the writers have just wrote everyone like blithering idiots. I mean, Leia can't fix her little droid, <laughs> but she can fix the 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 power and the blast doors in a fucking hangar. I bypass the compressor. I bypass the compressor. Why do they keep doing Cause, that? Because <laughs> they did that because they had nothing for her. The writer's just like, we got nothing for Leia to do, so Let's put her up in a thing here and she could just like get on with something. Because they don't they're not thinking about anything logically. They're not thinking about anything clever. And and I don't even know why they had that Anakin Obi-Wan flashback, because it just made no fucking sense. It didn't relate to the story. 
It didn't relate to Vader. It didn't relate to, to Reva. And it didn't relate to Obi-Wan. But Obi-Wan didn't have a, a, a lightsaber and he still won. No. Obi-Wan didn't have a lightsaber, came out and said, hey, fucking retard. Do you want to do something fucking retarded so that a retarded Darth Vader can fall for it? And when Darth Vader comes out of the ship and he's just like, where's Obi-Wan? And she's like, I secured him inside. Mm -hmm. And there's a fucking battalion of fucking stormtroopers out here with the fucking ship, with the fucking guns. How have you secured him inside? That's where the rebels are. Well, so I've seen theories of people saying like, yeah, that was, that was Reva's plan was to have Kenobi escape by sending him back in with only two stormtroopers. And I was just like, wait, but what if he didn't though? But why would you send him back in? So she can get him to escape. Like they were basically arguing she no, wanted no, okay, him no, to. No, no, sorry, escape. sorry. I mean, from a from a let's forget the stupid conversation that they had. Right. From a from a point of view of of a tactical member of a military organization, why would you send him back in? Why didn't what like one of the fucking uh, stormtroopers, the sergeants or whatever, say, uh, sir? Well, yeah, yeah. Even the Vader, army's here. <laughs> like Vader should be like, why is he in there? Yes. <laughs> and you know, to be fair, I don't even know why it's so easy for Kenobi to escape. The because he just wipes out the two stormtroopers, and it's just like, yeah. well, wait, if if it if it is all just that easy, then why would if you if you're one of those two stormtroopers and they're like, go and take him in there on your own, you might be like, can you can we have more than just us two? This guy has the force. <laughs> like but Darth Vader, as soon as Darth Vader opens up the blast doors. All he sees around him are dead stormtroopers. Yeah. No, no, yes. And he doesn't the, even turn around and go, bitch. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you playing up, bitch. Well, yeah, and then you find out that everybody's always like tricking each other because like you think that maybe he's caught off guard there, but then he's like, no, I knew the whole time. Just like, you knew the whole. What? <laughs> like, what, then why did you do all of the things that you did? If you yeah, knew that that's the thing, that's the thing. This whole thing's pantomime. This whole thing's theater. Because Kano <laughs> Vader knows that Reva is a traitor. Yeah. Yet he's pretending she's not a traitor. And then sending her out to, to get Obi-Wan, knowing she's a traitor. So Obi-Wan can escape. To reveal that she's a traitor when he knows she's a traitor. Well, dude, I think the the biggest example of this all being absolute bullshit is the smug face the Grand Inquisitor has of being like, Baha, we tricked you. Now we're done with you. And it's like, she nearly killed you. Like, if she had just lifted the lightsaber up when she stabbed you, you'd be dead. So how... How how can you be smug about this? Like, ah, we used you for your rage. It's like... You would you should have died. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I was this isn't clever on their part. Well, it's just but, random. But because Darth Vader called Reva Padwan, he knew or Youngling, Padwan or Youngling, whatever he called, he knew who she was. Someone's saying he already knew who she was from the very fucking start anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, so if you remember, they said the reason that they had her on the team was because her anger toward Kenobi would help be the thing that finds him. That's like the whole reason they've had her this whole time. Even though they try and stop her from doing all of her normal, well, not normal, but her intended Kenobi capturing plans, they often try to stop her and punish her for doing those things. And yet apparently that's the whole reason they have her. Did, did you like it? You've did seen I it, like Gary, it? haven't you? <laughs> seen uh, Kenobi? Episode 5 of yeah. Uh, Kenobi. Yeah. Did you like it when it stopped halfway through to say, oh shit, uh, we we got a massive plot hole with Luke, and we just want to say we got a massive plot hole with Luke. I oh, you... my favorite part was when Bail Organa contacts. <sighs> yeah, that's the that's the yes, and says, um, "I know we meant to not have any contact, but our lack of contact uh, has me a little worried. So I'm going to contact you." <laughs> Yeah, yeah right. honestly, it might Luke be the stupidest Skywalker thing. Is Darth Luke, yeah. son. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, you know, we agreed not to talk because obviously our messages would be heard by the enemy. I just wanted to let you know in case you got captured that I'm going to help the children and keep them safe on Tatooine with on Owen. On Tatooine. At, at he literally says Owen as well. He says Owen will need help. 
sand and butt crack drive. <laughs> I can't believe the stuff that you guys are saying is real. I, I just, I don't know what. Well, what? Yeah, Nina, to help you out here, like, Bale sends Kenobi a message detailing all the secrets, and Kenobi gives that receiver to someone else. That someone else drops it, and then Reva picks up that receiver and learns about Luke, basically. Here's the GPS location. I'm going to send it to you right now. How is this real stuff? <laughs> I don't how does this Disney, really... man, they know what they're doing. No, it's called retarded writing, courtesy of Disney. Well, because uh, everyone knows the big finale leak, and now we can see all the components are ready to make so, that leak happen. Like, but at the end, Reva's dying, not dying, and she finds the communication. Obviously. What's the fucking point now? Is she going to go... Uh, is she going to go kill Luke? Is she going to go... like? She tried to kill Darth Vader. Very, it's it's very meaningful, and you're just too stupid to understand it. Okay, look, Obviously. let's think. Think of the beautiful writing here. She's gonna go to Luke. She'll lift the lightsaber up, ready to strike him down. <laughs> then she'll realize he's me. He's just like me. And now I'm Anakin. I can't do this. In fact, I'll go kill Vader, and then she'll fight him and die or something. But I don't she's know. already tried to kill Darth. So what does she want now? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't What's know what they're gonna argue there. <clears throat> There is a picture, and it's on Disney Plus. And the banner is Obi Wan Kenobi with his lightsaber out on Tatooine, with Darth Vader on Tatooine. Are we oh, sure that's Darth God. Vader? Are we sure? Because that's Darth that Vader. Be Please don't tell me what? Darth Vader goes to no Tatooine. Way. Please. So if no Vader way. ends up on Tatooine and they all end up fighting on Tatooine, it's over. No then way. I say Tatooine way too often. So. There's two possible <laughs> scenarios here because, like, it's just it's a black cape with a hand on a lightsaber. I mean, it could yeah. be Darth Vader. Maybe it's his glove. I didn't see. So maybe it's Reva. Or it's Reva. Reva. either way, it's bad. It's real fucking bad because you tease Darth Vader and Obi Wan on top, <laughs> and then you get Obi Wan and Reva, and you're like, "What the fuck?" But they haven't had their <laughs> second <laughs> fight yet, right? Like Obi Wan. Yeah, 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 this, this episode, well, you're gonna piss everybody okay. off, and okay. and good. Good. Fucking fire the... Star Wars fans. I know, like, I'm loving my fellowship Lord of the Rings fans. They're like, no, we're not going to put up with one fucking second of this oh, shit before yeah. your show comes out. Star Wars fans are like 10 years in. Disney Star Wars fans, sorry. Uh, 10 years in going, maybe this will be better. Andor. That'll save Star Wars one solo. <laughs> yeah, Andor. I, wait, I have another question because I've, I've heard that Reva is supposed to... <laughs> I've heard that Reva's supposed, to, <laughs> supposed to get a spin-off series. So is that no? It's, like, it's be a that, no. It's 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 it was hate. I'm absolutely one hundred percent positive. It was a headline uh, that was created to generate hate clicks. If you went to the article, the article it said has, said there's no talk of it whatsoever. Oh. We're speculating that this could create a. Re because they just wanted to drag people, drag some traffic oh, okay. by saying... Okay, so it was clickbait. Okay. Absolutely 100% clickbait. That's all but, Disney um, Star Wars has been, is clickbait from the beginning. Hey, Han, Luke, and Leia, you're gonna, they're going to be back together. Nah. Nah. Wah, wah. Uh, <laughs> it's not like any of them is going to die. we got plenty of time. Oh, <laughs> shit. Not one line in The oh, Force Awakens. Oh, no. Gotcha. Whoops. And, and, and apparently it's because Jar Jar didn't think Mark Hamill could act well. <laughs> That's the oh best part. God. That is my favorite part. That should enrage everybody. That news, that news needs to be bigger. It really I, does. I, I just found out. Maybe it's old news. I don't know. But I just found out it's because Jar Jar didn't think Mark Hamill could act. Wow. I didn't even know that. Yep. I'm, I'm legit worried about episodes. <laughs> the final... I am worried not because I give a shit about this Disney Star Wars nonsense. It's because of how much of the original trilogy are they going to fucking shit over in the final episode? Well, I, 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 under, I think that they're doing this in order to basically just wipe out the original trilogy so that they can make their own tri trilogy. I don't really think that they give a shit about wiping out anything at the, anymore at this point, right? Like, I think that they're heading towards making their own. That that's what they're like redoing it is isn't that what we're going? Yeah, towards? yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's clear that Disney Star Wars hates their legacy characters and they want to get away from them as fast as possible, and they can't. So there, there, there's a 
it, it's a battle in their really simpleton minds. Uh, and right now they're just trying to make enough money so they can buy enough time to maybe fix shit later, which they can't. It's broken forever. It will be diminishing returns till the end of time, and Star Wars will end up being rides at fucking Disneyland and Disney World. That's it. 